Unemployment is the percentage of the labor force that are actively looking for work. It has several causes, but it is important for policymakers to know what these causes are so they can frame appropriate policies to deal with each kind of unemployment. In particular, policymakers need to know which of these various types of unemployment are short-term in nature and which are long-term. Frictional unemployment is unemployment of those who have just left their job, those who are coming back into the job market, and those who are in the process of obtaining a job for the very first time. Frictional unemployment is a normal feature of the market economy in which workers move freely from job to job and need time to make the move. An example of frictional unemployment is a student who has graduated from college and is unemployed while looking for their first career-oriented job. Frictional unemployment is not a major social problem and it can be reduced by improving job information so that job seekers can find jobs more easily. Although voters may wish that government officials they elect can reduce unemployment to zero, the existence of frictional unemployment makes this impossible. If unemployment falls below the estimated frictional rate, this indicates that the economy is overheating. Labor shortages in many sectors will constrain an overheating economy from expanding further. Cyclical unemployment is unemployment that rises and falls as a result of the business cycle, so it's high in a recession, but low in an expansion. It is a relatively short-term phenomenon. Minimizing cyclical unemployment is a major reason why policymakers strive to avoid recessions by deploying both fiscal and monetary policy to maintain the stable growth of national output. Seasonal unemployment is unemployment that occurs because the need for workers falls at certain times during the year. For example, unemployment in the United States tends to drop in November and December because many retail businesses hire workers to support an increase in the number of shoppers and many stores extend their hours. Seasonal unemployment can have a major effect in regions that rely on tourism during certain times of the year, such as ski resorts and beachside areas. Structural unemployment is unemployment caused by long-term changes in the structure of the economy, such as the rise and fall of particular industries. Dealing with structural unemployment requires long-term policies. For example, investments in infrastructure can provide jobs for people who are displaced from dying industries. Education and training can equip people to find employment in newly emerging sectors of the economy. Technological unemployment is one form of structural unemployment which is caused by processes such as mechanization and automation that displaces workers. Historically, predictions that technological progress would lead to permanent large-scale unemployment have proved false. Workers have adapted to major structural shifts such as industrialization by moving to jobs in new locations and new industries. Workers may need advanced education to do new jobs that are created with technology.